welcome to Chill and Chat. And as usual, we love to chill and chat. And chat and chill. Yes, and we're actually <laughs> chilling and chatting in Kelowna here, yes. where we are on vacation for one week, which we're actually supposed to be in Italy. I think we were in Tuscany. We're supposed to be in Tuscany, Tuscany right tonight. now. Yes. But you know what? Kelowna's second best. It, Kelowna is amazing. They have the best wines, the best wineries. It's just been amazing. You know what? Kelowna does, or Okanagan, the wines are better than Italy. Yeah, I honestly, so. they honestly, are. Honestly, yes. in the long run. But Italy would have been fun. Yes, visit. Italy would have been fun. <laughs> but you know what? So we're here actually celebrating our anniversary. So we're yeah. 30 year. no. You're 31. 31 year anniversary. And You're it's 30. our 30th. Uh, not yes. us. Like no, with no. our husbands. With our husbands. And yes, um, so we were supposed to be in Italy celebrating. Yes. Actually, last year, we were celebrating our 30th in Europe, and you were supposed to be there. I thought we'd no, this year, yeah, but was I wrong? <laughs> yeah, now look what's happened. But anyway, we're still having fun. We're like, you know, visiting tons of different wineries and great hikes. The hikes here are fantastic. And uh, I'm really excited because I got a book on um, all the amazing hikes in Kelowna. I'm so excited to show all of them to you. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> and also, of course, um, shopping. Shopping. Yes, we did some great shopping. Um, they have such great petite stores here. And uh, I got three, five Londons. I know. Shoes. She got. She loves <laughs> like, those shoes. 70% off. I love deals. I'm a deal girl. So now we went to a really nice winery. We're going to show them a show uh, yes. coming up next. Yes. Some uh, Cedar Creek Cedar winery. Creek. Our, uh, one of our favorites us. this time. We had a beautiful time there. And yeah. coming up next. We have arrived at Cedar Creek. Right. Yeah, so next up we have our Platinum Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, and that's going to be paired with the steamed mussel today. Sauvignon and, and, and seafood is such a great pairing. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, next we're moving on to our reds. So this is our Cabernet Merlot blend. Yeah, so we got a nice structure to the Merlot. Nice, like, long-lasting, um, those nice, like, vibrant red fruit notes. And it's going to be paired with our homemade beet, uh, beet mm. relish chip. Awesome. Awesome. I'm ready Enjoy. for the red, yeah. Wow, totally changes the taste of the wine, eating that. Love it. Like, such a fun job. It is, I really love it here. Oh, that's so great. And what, what is your name? Jenny. Oh my goodness, a Jenny, I'm a Jenny. No way. Yeah, sit down, girlfriend, we're gonna have a show together. Come oh on. my God, that'd be so fun. <laughs> this is now the Jenny and Jenny show. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? Well, we've uh, changed the show up. <laughs> Now it's now the, the Jenny and Jenny show. Yeah. I don't know if you what? Heard. You're, you're okay with that. Jenny, right? I'm not okay with that. <laughs> right, so next up we have our Platinum Desert Ridge Merlot. So this comes, uh, yeah, our Desert Ridge Vineyard. We have 11 acres down there dedicated to growing Merlot. So a nice, nice, like long, long finish. Nice uh, baking spice at the end. And that's super with the Brasola. So it's a cured beef, with a little bit of tarragon aioli and Parmesan. So all those nice, um, like, yeah, cheesy notes are going to bring out all the fruitiness in the wine. All right. Before I taste this one, I just want to say how quickly you ousted me out of the show. Hey, Jenny and Jenny, I thought that sounded great since I never get to be Jenny and Trash. This one sounds amazing. Desert Ridge Merlot. Ah, oh, smells amazing. Oh, I can totally smell the dark cherries. Mm, that's very nice. Mmm. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, so for our last wine, this is our Bordeaux style blend. So our Meritage 2016. Coming again mainly from Desert Ridge, so gonna have a lot of that Merlot in there, but also some Cab Sauve, Cab Franc, and a little bit of Malbec. And the Malbec kind of brings all those nice, like leathery, earthy notes, nice. deep plum as well. So a nice long, uh, lingering finish. Gonna be our biggest, boldest wine that we have. That's why I like the biggest. And yeah, all yeah. oh, right. <laughs> so Jenny, Jenny like makes some big and bold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's gonna be paired with a duck riet, um, a little bit of um, crispy sage on there, and an uh, Italian ag agrodolce sauce, a little bit of sweet and sour. Ooh, sounds okay. good. Well, we're having our last one, and mm. I just love how I just feel so relaxed with wine. I know, it's such it's a, a great feeling. And the sun is shining, <laughs> it's just so beautiful out. And the scenery is incredible. Yes, cheers. cheers. Thank you all for coming to the Jenny and Jenny show. Yeah. Wait, cheers. No, it's the Trish and Jenny show. It's the Trish and Jenny show. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. That
that was so that amazing. Was so amazing. Yeah, it was, it was just, so fun. Like you just felt so pampered and so special. It was Absolutely. awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, next up, uh, we have our guest speaker, yeah. Sherry Simpson, Aka, the pole lady. Did you just say Aka? Well, that's what it Wait, says you know on it, the on the thing. The that means you're supposed to say AKA the pole, the pole lady. <laughs> what does AKA mean? Is it not Aka? <laughs> I don't know, also known as, aka. Oh, I get it, also known as, yes, I love it. the pole lady. Anyway, she's a health and fitness ambassador and um, just like health specialist and she designed the poles that we use for the Total Makeover Challenge and just an amazing um, person who knows so much about fitness and what the poles do for your health. And she really is awesome, she gives back to the community, we absolutely love her. Yeah. So let's hear from Sherry Simpson, but before her, Treasure Trails. Hey, good morning. We're in beautiful Kelowna. Yes, and we're going to be doing the Knox Mountain hike today. We were kind of trying to decide between these two Pole items. Or coffee. Which one do Which we Which one use? do we take? <laughs> What's more important right now at this early morning? Hey, look! It's the, the poop, poop fairy. fairy! This trail or this trail? Which one? That trail. Which one? <laughs> that trail. <laughs> So this is the first viewpoint that you come to. It takes anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes to get to it. And you get a beautiful view of the city of Kelowna. Nice. Yikes! So, oh, behind on. us. <laughs> so I'm just a little out of breath. It's a tough okay, one. Okay, I'll, I'll talk. Okay. I'll talk. <laughs> so behind us is the top point that we're going to. And this is probably from the bottom to this very top up there for about, well, it could be anywhere from 30 to an hour to go up. Depending how fast you are. A little longer today. Well, we're almost at the top, but we thought we would enjoy this view. Breathtaking. Breathtaking. Jenny. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> we made it. Yes. <laughs> right to Beautiful the top. View. Okay, we're gonna hide the treasure. I know. <laughs> it's gonna be over there, somewhere over there. <laughs> we finished our hike. And we love our poles. Yes. And we're gonna hear more about the benefits. All the things, different yeah. things that they're good for. Let's try Including this one. <laughs> Welcome back, and we are here with Sherry Simpson, the pole lady. Yay! Yay! And we're all with our poles. Yay! <laughs> yes. So Sherry, I mean, everybody loves to walk, but what is the benefit of adding the poles into your walking routine? Yeah, why well, walk this way, I guess, is the question, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, the thing is, when we walk, no matter how fast we go, no matter how far we go, and you can swing your arms all you like, yeah. you're using less than 50% of your muscles. Ah. That's only your lower oh, half. Wow. That makes sense, right? Yes. 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 But the thing is, is, and you can, people, a lot of people say to me, oh, but when I walk, I really swing my arms. And I say, good for you, do yeah. swing your arms. It'll increase your cardio a bit mm -hmm. by doing that. But guess what? You're not increasing any more muscles. Ah. Because why do people go to the gym or do weights? Mm -hmm. To create resistance. Right. So swinging, well, the work your shoulder, right. but the whole point, and, and, but no muscles around the mm -hmm. arm. That's so and true, then, mm -hmm. yeah arms yeah well yeah look at your arms <laughs> and so the thing is is when you plant with the pole and you can just feel this yeah. when you plant yeah you can feel, feel it, your right? arm but not just yeah. that put your hand on your tummy okay. and it's hard for, i don't think you can do it Trish. i don't think i can <laughs> you try it jenny but okay. see push down relax yeah. push down relax what is that oh yeah oh my you goodness. can actually film that yeah. look there's a tummy crunch <laughs> oh my goodness so as Who you <laughs> So you're walking yeah. and you're doing yeah. stomach crunches. You're doing yeah. a tummy ah. crunch. You're doing a lap pull. Like yeah. push down again. Feel it goes yeah. right up your shoulders. Like yeah. Oh yeah. Over ninety percent of your muscles are working. Yeah. All oh, right. Yes. And guess what? In a short walk of thirty minutes, we take almost two thousand steps. 
Nice. It has 2,000 tummy crunches, oh, 2,000 wow. tricep yeah. extensions, and I tease and say 2,000 bra fat contractions. <laughs> ah, I like that. You can never that. work on that too much. I know, that's so true. <laughs> All right. Well, you're definitely a walking example. Yes. Uh, yes, like, let me... Wow. wow! The thing is, women can sometimes get a bicep, but yeah. it's the tricep. Yes. Yes. It's that wall yeah. going. Yeah, one where you go like that, and you're. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need. Yeah. I need that. Yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, we're, we'll be right back after this message to hear more from Sherry. Okay. So welcome back. Yeah, so Sherry, you just shared how it, you know, using these poles uses so many muscles like our stomach muscles. Over 90%. Yeah. Um, but isn't it gonna be a harder workout then if you go out with these? Well, you would think it was because you know, you're using more muscles, but think about this. If you yeah. go from using less than 50 to over 90, well, that means there's more muscles sharing the workload, okay? Oh. So actually every muscle has to work less hard. Yeah. Plus, we're really bad in this nation and society yeah. for what? Sin. Slouching. Oh yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. I'm guilty because of that. City, okay, yeah. better computer, phone, yes, and yeah. everything. <laughs> what the poles do is they force us. Do you notice that? How you just yeah. kind of stand taller yes. when you hold them. Yes. So you open so we your look chest. Good. We so, look good. <laughs> so, so now, not only are you using more muscles to to propel yeah. yourself forward, yeah. so it's actually easier on yeah. each muscle. But guess what you're getting? More oxygen flow yeah. oh, to I your heart, it. your lungs, and wow. your brain. Wow. Oh, my brain needs I that. I know. Yeah. We all need that. You know, I really, yes. So we need to breathe yeah. deeper. And the poles, as soon as you engage them, you are now planting. You're yeah. engaging all these muscles. Your chest is open. And this is the cool thing. 30 minutes of pole walking is equal to 50 minutes of regular walking. Oh, oh wow. I like wow, that. Wow, I like uh, that. Now think about that. Double that, the workout what? for half the time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And less and wow. easier. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And it's easier. Yes. Oh yeah. Because the thing is, you can go 50 minutes if you yeah. have the time. Oh, I got the time yeah. and I like to just walk. But after that 50 minutes of walking without the poles, yeah. guess what you got to do? Push-ups to get that tummy crunch, remember? Right. Yeah. You got to do some crunches. Yeah. To, I'm sorry, crunches for that push-ups yeah. for the tricep yeah. curl. And you got to do some, you know, weights to get your back yes. for some lats. Yeah. Yeah. And now, every time you take a step in 30 minutes, half the time, you're doing your sit-ups. Uh. Ah, I am never, and your dumbbells. I am never leaving my poles again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, hope, I, hear yeah. Some, I yeah. hope we've got some more respect for them because really, sadly, a lot of people think they're for old people, but yeah. you guys, yes, they help yeah. those people, yeah. but they're designed as an amazing workout tool with less effort, yeah. using more muscles. Nice. Hello. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. And one last question, because yeah. I know we've got the cardio, we've got the muscle building, yep. and we have the health benefits. Calorie burn. Calorie burn. 48%. Exactly. More. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Well, I like that. That's, even, that's probably one of the most important things. But also, aren't these good for stretching to finalize your um, workout? Oh, certainly. Yeah. You, can, you can use them as your stabilizers yeah. as you do different, you yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. And you can even stand. So you don't you need a balance. wall. You yeah. can do different yeah. things. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, exactly. No, very, very So it's very like much. a full workout. It's a full yeah. total, body, yeah. total body workout. Yeah. It's great if you want to just add some lunges. Yeah. You don't need to, but yeah. say you want to right. do something yeah. like that. Yeah. It's all round. Yeah. Every muscle increases yeah. your cardio. So you increase your cardio a minimum of 20%. You burn up to 48% more calories. Yeah. And another little quick thing is you're 26% lighter. So for anybody out there who oh. has anybody out there who has back, hip, knee, ankle, or feet challenges, I'll let you do the math. But 26% lighter, nice. That makes a difference. That sure awesome. does. All yeah. right. Okay. Well, we love the pole. We love and the pole. We love our pole lady. Woo. And Sherry, one more thing. Yes. How do people get a hold of you? Okay, uh, www.keenfit.com, keenfit.com. And I'm offering an extra $20 off our regular price for anyone who calls in or, uh, yeah, phones. So And mentions this one, show. Yep, so I'll give a quick one 877 533 6348 Awesome. Awesome. Or get in touch with these two. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Wine and What? 
What are Today we talking about? Is what? Yeah. Is what, is, what is it? <laughs> wineries. We are in Kelowna. Yes, and we're getting to experience all these amazing wineries. So yes. It's fantastic. But today, particularly this one, we love. We do. Now yes. this is. Cedar, Cedar Creek. Creek. Meritage. Meritage. I did it right. You did it right. <laughs> you know, some people call it Meritage, but it is actually Meritage. I've been corrected. Yes. <laughs> and uh, smells mm. wonderful. Yes, let's smell it. Mm. Oh, I taste um, black currant. Deep berry pie. Deep berry pie. That's oh, why I like it. I love how you read the notes ahead of time. You know, it actually does taste like a beautiful. I know berry, it does. Deep berry it is pie. So good. It really does. It's very delicious. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, but what is our winery story today? Well, first of all, I mean it's a lovely wine, but the actual winery is absolutely beautiful. Yes. And you find it in Kelowna, and it's like this big estate on the end of Mission. And it just has this beautiful restaurant, oh. wine tasting room, and yeah, it was just, we felt well, It very, was fantastic. Yeah, it yeah. really was. Now, how many wineries did we have to visit before we finally found one that would take us in? Yeah, so that's, our, <laughs> that's part of our watch is, is um, it's uh, a little bit more difficult right now, you know, with COVID. Um, you just don't pop into a winery. No. You um, can't just show up and say, yeah. I want to taste wine. Like we every, found that out the hard way. Yes, every other year you just, you know, you go from winery to winery and, you know, you go in there and you taste your wine. And then you move on to the next one. Yeah. But this year With you have to make people. appointments. Yes. You have to go online yeah. and book your timing. So you have to have your, you're going to have to be really good at timing to be yes. able to figure it out. You have to actually know what you want to do that yeah. day or so in the future. The first time we went out wine tasting, we didn't go to any. Yeah. And uh, we so. We got turned away. We got turned away. So then we booked a few after <laughs> yes. that. Yes, and that's why you have to do it. And also, when you're there, it's not like the big crowds anymore. It's very exclusive, so that's it is like very that. Exclusive. It's exclusive, and uh, yeah, there's you know probably like four groups tasting, not like twenty. So it's and actually it, really and nice it's a way. beautiful experience. Yeah. We just had a fabulous time. And, so and as usual. It's a beautiful scenery. So for the Cedar Creek Winery, we were overlooking the beautiful Okanagan Lake. It's wonderful. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back. Yes, and we're having such a fabulous time here in Kelowna. So much to do and yes. such a you know great opportunity to enjoy somewhere in your own province. Since we can't travel now internationally, we have such a great place here. Lots of yeah, and I highly recommend coming. Yeah. It's, it feels very safe here. It's COVID friendly. Yes, very yes. COVID friendly. So, and right. I think we have a highlight video to show. Yeah, let's yeah. let's show them some of our fun moments. Yes. What are we doing? We are going on wine tours and we're in Lake Country and we are at Airoli. Yeah. What a beautiful winery. Yeah. And as beautiful. you can see the scenery behind us, we went in and we did some wine tasting. Yeah. We ordered two of our favorites. And now we're sitting out here in their beautiful park. Yes. Contemplating life and enjoying wine. Cheers. Cheers. I guess I'm drinking the bug. I can't get it. Out. Do you have anything I can get the bug? Out? No, not your fingers. <laughs> order that for you. Okay, stop squinting. I'll get it. <laughs> oh, it's really crusty. <laughs> there, I got it. Hey, we're contemplating whether we should roll down this hill. Let's have a look. Go for what it. Do you think? Go for it. We will find a hill to roll down at some okay, point. Okay, let's just hang out in this bathroom. This is the most I mean, incredible bathroom at Cedar Creek Winery. It oh, is absolutely it's so gorgeous. amazing. We can just spend our time in here. I know, I love it. <laughs> Sauvignon Blanc? Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon. Sauvignon Blanc. That's like it. I love that. 
Oh. So this is our estate room, and uh, we've got here lots of different wines. This is normally where lots of the, the, the members come, they enjoy a glass of wine. Nice. Uh, we've got a small belvedere outside, and then we've got the library downstairs, and that was um, that is the place where we're going to go to. This is interesting because for us Canadian wine, the industry is very young. We're celebrating right now 30 years of VQA, Vitness Quality Alive. So we are young. That we are young. Europe. Europe. Yeah. Europe is what we call the old world, we have got history. Yeah. Over 6,000 years. Over here, we talk more about hospitality than about history. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been downstairs to the barrel cellar? No. no. You know what? Let's do that. Sure. Let's do Let's it. Let's do that. Right. Okay. Oh, I love this. Oh, wow. Oh, my oh, goodness. Cool. Wow. Oh, my then the next step is how they toast it, how long did they season it right. in the air. So there's so many different wow. variations to it that um, every barrel is actually different. We're at the bottom of the bell tower. Oh, wow. And if you're looking straight down the side, oh, wow. we are looking at about 800 barrels from left to right. And there's yeah. a little window over here. Oh, there's yeah. a moment throughout the day in the midst of the summer and there's a light beam. Yeah. Yeah. straight through it will shine all the way over there. We just want to say thank you so much, Tom, yes. for thank an amazing you. tour, and yeah. we just love your knowledge. Yeah. Uh, that so was information and amazing. Yeah. Yes. history. Amazing. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much for coming by. Cheers. 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 Well, we're at the end of our show today. Thanks for joining us and what a wonderful time we've had in Kelowna. Absolutely. Yeah. Wine touring and more wine touring. And, and more wine touring. And even more wine touring <laughs> after that. Uh, it is the place to visit this We did summer. hike a couple times. Just yes, say. we did. Yes. yes. So thank you for joining us. And next week we have Angela Painter all about the Operation Little Black Dress. 2020 so we're gonna hear about that yes yes so and uh and then of course you'll have us so <laughs> see you next week bye